Now today we're doing something a little bit different compared to my usual Forza Horizon shenanigans. At the end of June, Xbox, Forza and Porsche invited me to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. If you have never been to Goodwood before, think of it as a real life Forza Horizon game that takes place in a very rich man's back garden. Every different type of car you can think of is on display here. From classic rally cars to Formula 1, Formula Drift and never before seen hypercars, it becomes almost impossible to process every everything that's happening around you. Absolutely everywhere you look, there is something new to drool over. Look up and you'll see the famous red arrows defy the laws of physics while painting the sky in pretty colours. Look to your left and you'll find a very friendly Ford Mustang playing nicely and not trying to kill someone. And if you decide cars driving on all four wheels isn't your type of thing, don't worry too much because a lunatic on a Range Rover has you covered. The idea behind my trip to Goodwood was so I can try Forza Motorsport 7 in the brand new Porsche 911 GT2 RS on a ridiculous £40,000 motion simulator. Then afterwards head outside to the hill climb with a Porsche racing driver to experience what it's like in real life. Needless to say, I was both excited and relatively brooking it. After meeting everybody from Forza and Porsche, it was time to walk down the driver's version of a red carpet to sign a piece of paper saying it was okay for them to kill me. Oh, and if you don't know Dave from the Outside Xbox YouTube channel, well that's him, all 2 million subscribers worth. Signing complete, it was time for a crazy Scottish man to show us what it's like to drive a Porsche Cayenne Mad Max style in a very muddy field. Only 10 minutes prior to this, I had a massive beef burger and was quietly praying in the back to not redecorate his car. Keeping 100% of my burger safe in my tummy, it was time for a quick stretch and onwards to Forza Motorsport 7. Now having played every other Forza Motorsport game, I knew exactly what to expect, only to find when I finally got to have a go that I was completely wrong. There's a reason why this motion simulator costs £40,000. The force feedback is like nothing I have felt before and without sounding corny, it felt real. The graphical upgrade is obviously huge and in 4K it looks visually stunning, but ignoring the obvious graphic overhaul it feels like a completely different game. You truly feel connected to the road more so than any other racing game I've played. The physics have improved greatly and despite the fact I'm playing it with the world's most expensive racing wheel, I got the impression that it would be just as good with a basic controller. Also the new cockpit view without the in-car steering wheel is a fantastic addition perfect for those who are dedicated to racing with a wheel all of the time. Now unfortunately I couldn't get any direct footage gameplay but do expect many videos in the future when I finally get my hands on it. It was now time to really focus on not puking up parts of Burger as we walked over to the supercar paddock. Here I got to meet the driver who would be taking me up the 1.2 mile hill climb, professional Porsche racing driver Paul Rees, and I finally got to meet the car I'd be in, the 2017 Porsche 911 GT3. So I strapped on my helmet and mentally prepared myself for the quickest 55 seconds of my life.
massive thank you to everyone watching and to Xbox, Forza and Porsche for making this a reality. It's a day I will never forget. Hit that like and subscribe button if you have enjoyed today's video and I will hopefully catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, thanks for watching, bye bye!